We are here today to announce allegations that Eric Ulrich, the former city council member, mayoral advisor, and Department of Buildings Commissioner, used each of these taxpayer-funded positions to line his own pockets. Across five separate indictments, we charge that more than $150,000 worth of bribes were solicited by and accepted by Eric Ulrich in the course of less than two years in these positions. As an elected official and government employee, Eric Ulrich's duty was to the people of the city of New York, not his friends, not his associates, and certainly not himself. You may ask, what did he get for all of this access, for all of these favors, all of these betrayals of the public's trust? From Michael Mazio, he got a premium season ticket package to the New York Mets worth over $10,000. From Mark Caller, a discounted furnished apartment in a luxury beachfront building in Rockaway Park. From Paul Grego, a bespoke suit and a painting by Francisco Poble, the last surviving apprentice of Salvador Dali. And from everyone charged here, all of the other co-defendants, including Laveris and Victor Truda, he got cash and a lot of cash. Most of it we allege went towards gambling, including at this illegal establishment that you see to my right. This is the 89th Street Cafe. The criminal conduct alleged here that DA Bragg has just described is clear cut. A high level city government official agreed to sell his access and his influence to his co-defendants in exchange for over $150,000 worth of cash and gifts, including a discounted beachfront property and season tickets to the Mets. But this investigation and these indictments show that when a public official puts New York City up for sale and uses their government office, their influence, and their relationships to enrich themselves, they will be held accountable.